What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Attorney Reacts. I am Attorney Ted, and today we're going to be reacting to Guntersville, Alabama police arrest a woman for sleeping in her car. Should be interesting. Give me your ID when I ask for it, okay? Under Title 15. I'm Can you give me? My, I am taking a nap because okay. it's. I'm off of work right now. I would live you, in town. Okay, would you I like... I'm on... I'm not... Ma'am, I'm here. talking. Would you like to give me your ID or go to jail? No. You don't want to give me your ID? I'm not going to give you my ID. Okay, well, come on. Put no. your shoes on. Okay, so right off the bat, this video does not uh, leave any intro. We've got a cop who is in Alabama that has approached... It looks like a woman that has been sleeping in her car and is requesting identification. In this state in Alabama, he has quoted some form of code that essentially gives the... I guess the authorities, the right to request identification from a potential suspect in a crime. We don't know if they have reasonable suspicion of what she was doing in that car or any of the facts at this point. So it looks like she has refused and he's going to go ahead and try to put her under arrest. No. Nope. Come on. No. Yeah. You are not getting me out of my car. Yes, ma'am, no, I am. Uh -oh. You are not. Don't, don't resist me. No. Why, why is he me. doing this? Listen to me. Are you going to break my elbow? First of all, I don't know what this woman has done. Obviously, he's come up to her out of nowhere, so she seems. And this cop's already trying to put his hands on her, trying to rip her out of this car. Like, is that really necessary? I mean, y'all have heard my thoughts before when we have police that get a little overly violent in certain situations. This seems like one of those times where you try to talk through something before you immediately go to try and ripping someone out of the car. So... Let's just see where this goes. Listen to me, okay? I've asked you for your ID. You've Would told me you no. talk to me? I'm telling you who you I am. It doesn't matter yes, what my card says. Okay, give me your ID. Well, that's not necessarily true. Is this how y'all treat we people? Right to identify you, okay? My, There's people been calling. They well, they've been calling. Those. I've been here for... If you'll let me I'm explain, taking my lunch break. Can you let me explain to you what we got the call on and why we're starting why? to investigate this, okay? Can you let me just explain? Yeah, sure. People have called and said that you have been laying in this car for four hours. Four hours? <laughs> Listen I'm... to me. We ha we don't know anything until we get here, identify you, and see if everything's okay. This officer has asked for your identification. You're, you're supposed to... Okay, even if she has been laying in her car for four hours, who cares? If it's a public area, if it's not private property, what is she doing that's breaking the law? I mean, I didn't know that it was against the law to take a nap somewhere. If so, guilty, arrest me right now. And I just noticed she's got a little Yoda figurine on her dash. The Yoda's probably telling her, channel the force, lady. Do not get in trouble. Do not get arrested. I'm sitting here. You're supposed to provide I'm not that. supposed to provide that because I'm oh. sitting in my property. Okay. You're on city property. Okay, I am on. a part of the city so too. Ma'am, why are you? You back? just woke me up. Right. What do you expect? We didn't know that you've been here asleep for four hours or four minutes I or four been. seconds. It doesn't you matter. Just heard I was reports listening of it, to so. Sean Hannity for about fifteen minutes, then I went to sleep. Do you want I to give us an idea? Sleep. No, I don't. I don't want to give you my idea. And I have no other reason other than you are approaching me in a very rude manner while I am sleeping. Yeah. And now I'm going to be in a terrible mood, a terrible mood well, all day. It could be more terrible because you are. Four once, hours. Once Who asked. called you and said I was here for four hours? We're not the dispatchers. We don't take the calls. We just go answer them. You're, oh, you're, you're supposed to I identify can't yourself. Take He's asking for identification. He's asking for identification. What if I'm walking? Would you approach me and tell me that if that's were, strange? If, if, you, if something got called in that you were acting strange, then you're, we would have to investigate. I'm strangely sleeping in my car. So what the cops are essentially saying here is that because dispatch called in, said the reports of a lady that is doing something, sleeping in her car or something that's been there four hours, that that could be reasonable suspicion of a crime taking place. What that crime is, I don't know, maybe drug use, potentially maybe a DUI situation where this lady's drunk in her car with her keys in her pocket. I could see that's potentially what they're going, but that's the only avenue I can see besides that lady just sleeping. We have to investigate I can be calls. here till... After sunset, yeah, I know this. Exactly, and now that you've been asked to identify yourself, we need you to identify yourself. Who are you? Provide us. I'm Officer Young with Gunnersville Police Department. So I have to, to identify, identify myself because I'm sleeping in my car. Yes. And then what? <laughs> if everything let fine, you go. Everything is fine. This is my space and everything is fine. All right. Now, I'm if gonna... I'm doing something illegal, then you, you can warrants? take me in. What is illegal? What is it that I'm doing that's illegal? Nobody said you're at this point. I don't Nobody have said, any warrants. I'm sitting illegal. in my right. car, very, very sleepy, very sleepy. That's this it. Doesn't have to go I'm a person just than... like you two. I'm a okay. person. You do listen, not wake you, somebody listen, up. You in ask the car. what you're doing illegal in the state of Alabama under Title 15 code. If we ask for who you are and ID. 
You have to give it to it's, us. I, it's illegal? It's, yes. To it's not illegal give it to for me to snap in my car? Snap or sleep? To nap. No, that is not in illegal. In my car. Okay. Tell me what I've been doing that's wrong. You give me a reason. Okay. Right now, you've been asked for your identification. I don't want to give you my ID, okay? Y'all okay? are not. Uh, Y'all are listening listen to the lady. I have a right to ask you what your name is. I've already told you that. What is it? Officer Young. We got her for Officer Department. Young and Mr. Ford. Yes, ma'am. Tell me what was said. Y'all get back okay. up. Y'all all come. 16 to 21. Me. I mean, I know this lady's mad and upset for this whole situation, and, and she might right, very well have a reason to be. Give me your ID. If you have no warrants, you have nothing to hide, so you can go home. Because you know that the cops in this scenario are already too far deep that if you don't give the ID, and they're quoting this particular piece of code that says they have a right to ask for it, they're going to take you to jail. You think they're going to let you walk away now? You're just asking for more trouble. I can't sleep in my ma car. Ma'am, do you have warrants? No, I Can you be in a I just want you to just talk to me like a human being. Hey, we've both been doing that. Are we now. on different levels here? Y'all mm -hmm. on another... Okay, so under Alabama section 15530, if the police have, just like what I said, if police have reasonable suspicion that someone has committed or is about to commit a felony or other public offense, meaning misdemeanor, they may demand of them their name, address, and explanation of actions. But that does not give them the right to require identification. So these cops think that they have standing to ask for this particular document, when in all reality, they do not. All she has to do is identify who she is, and that's if they have reasonable suspicion of a crime. They have yet to even identify to her what they think she might be doing wrong. So you have a scenario here where the cops believe that they're acting within their legal bounds, which in actuality, and I'm not a lawyer in Alabama, but just from reading the code on its face, they in fact do not. This is going to be a problem for them after the fact, especially after, if potentially they take this lady to the ground, you know, and it's just not a good scenario. Apparently you are. No, now, I, yeah, I was sleeping. Yeah, no, I don't live in Louisiana now. Okay. How long have you lived in Alabama? I've lived here four or five years. Why don't you have an Alabama tag on your vehicle? Because it's my dad's car. Okay. You got an Alabama driver's license? Yes. The state of Alabama? Yes, Can you I provide do. that, please, and show us no. that you can prove that? No. Okay, well, then we're going to have to tow your car and get it out of here because we can't let you drive on our roads since you've been here for five years without getting an Alabama no, driver's I license. Have a, I have a Alabama driver's license. Prove it. Why don't they just look up her name in the system? Why is this? Excuse me, ma'am. Okay, there. Is it illegal for me to sleep in my car? <laughs> I don't know. Y'all are giving me a run around. I don't know what y'all don't have anything person better to do. No, why? Why is it illegal? Because Alabama says it is. What does Alabama why, say? What am I doing that is illegal? You understand that we're here for a welfare check because someone was concerned about possibly Who's your concerned? health when you were. I was out we there. Don't know who called. I don't want to lay in the grass. It's windy. I'm cold. Sleeping's fine, but now, now you've took it another it's level. Because you yeah, want to it's not you. another level, y'all. I am oh. sleeping in my car, and y'all are coming up to me and bothering me. If I was out there littering or uh, or bothering people. And, and for you not to understand that I'm upset right now is really getting on me, too. Why? No, I do not understand. Where do you live? I'm not telling you anything about me. Well, I don't want you to know where I live. You know what? Because this is the way you approach me. We approach you worried about you. I'm sitting here having a real good nap. <laughs> the rest of my day was going to be fine. Well, okay. Seriously. And you said, okay. Where do you work since you said you're on your break? I'm not telling, I don't want to give y'all any of my information well, now. Well, we're, we're going to check with I'll your, probably your see office. All around. Uh, maybe they're the ones that called if you've been here for four hours because you've been on a break, but you've been missing for a while. It's not know. a break. I'm off of work. I'm off for the day. Well, you said you're on a break. I have, I have tea in my cup. Okay. I mean, that it's kind of weird. She does having like a little bit of inconsistency in her story at first. She came over here for a lunch break. Now they're sa she's saying that she's off. If I'm a cop, I'm thinking, okay, maybe there is something more going on here. And up to the code and the law says that she has to identify who she is, not necessarily provide identification. But at the same time, you know, like this isn't that big of a deal. They probably have more important things to worry about. You know, Gunnersville, Alabama probably has a high crime rate. I don't know. There's a lot of bad things going on. People jaywalking. But, you know, once again, cops going to cop here. I don't know why y'all are so concerned. What I want to know, what I'm curious we got about. Call. One of our citizens you got a call that a girl yeah. was in her car sleeping. That's so odd. A female was asleep in the vehicle, yes. Okay, or and then or now y'all know I'm awake. 
Okay. Very good. So what else needs to happen? You're because you're out now. No. Because we've asked for it. No. You can go to jail. You understand? No, that, right? I can't go to jail. I know that. I bet you can. I can't go to jail for being in my car sleeping. No, you're right. You can't go to jail for that. But you can go to jail for failure to provide your identification. No, I can't. I cannot. Do you want us to prove that? Because we easily can. Call, call your superior. He's on his way. Sure you will be here. And he'll right. explain you the exact same thing. Uh -oh, boss him? man coming. Will you please tell him? That y'all woke me up because somebody called you, and, said, be, and then instead of leaving me, he does not instead of leaving me, y'all are totally y'all have to oh y'all have to have my ID and yes, all this. And we've been polite with you, ma'am. So. No, this is not polite. I'm, I'm sure it is. We're just doing our jobs. And y'all, y'all polite, and, but be walking away and just letting it go. Well, at this point, no. That would be fine. Oh, oh, because you're upset because I'm not giving you an ID. No, ma'am, it's simply she calling them out. Violated the law of Alabama. I have not so violated a law. You long, tell me what law you, is it? What law is it? How long have you been a police officer? I'm not a police officer. Well. What so is the law that I'm contract. violating? What did he tell you? What is the time? law? Title yeah. 15. Right? Title 15. Title 15. Mm -hmm. And you're getting on the edge of being disorderly. I'm getting on the edge because oh. you woke me up from a very the edge of disorderly. Now, now I'm having a terrible time. This lady who's mad at you because you're coming up here while she's sleeping. It, disorderly. Fine. Once again, we're not saying what you were doing was illegal with taking a nap. We're not well, saying then that. Don't need, Nobody has said you, that. Do I get to go up to people and just identify them? Hey, yes. Paul, yeah, okay. I was sleeping at my, in, in my car at the lake, and two police officers have come up, and uh, one of them knocked on my window, woke me up, and then told me I needed to tell, give them my ID. And um, I'm sitting here talking to them. Now they want my ID. I told them I work here, and then I'm off of work, and I'm just taking a nap, and they are pursuing this, trying to get my ID. It'd be really funny if she was like calling her brother Bob or something. <laughs> He's like, what am I supposed to do about this? I'm just a cashier down the street. It, regardless of what's happening here, cops aren't letting her go. No matter who she calls, she could call the governor of Alabama. That might save her, but that's about it. Just give it up. Come back to something else too. Did it. I'm pretty sure. 16. What did that Louisiana come back to? That is my dad. That was her father. Ten four. Is that show expired? He walked. He knocked on my window, woke me up, and now they're just begging for my ID because I've got to explain what I was just doing. We got expired tags here. It's just the truth. People, if we're not begging for, we're begging for you to not act like this Look, and make this situation worse on yourself. I was going to act yourself. like this before y'all. What? Well, I imagine that's true. Yes, it is true because this is how I am. <laughs> yes. Hold on one second. Yeah. Right. Who is this? Uh, Paul is his name. Paul what? Landry. Who is he to you? Just answer the he phone. Is? He's my husband. Okay. Mr. Landry. So is your last name Landry? Okay. Paul Landry. You yeah. do realize you're making this worse. If you'd have given me your ID, we would have gone on. I wish you would have just know said, what? hey, are you okay? I Dear, did. Are I you did. all right? I did, but now I have an obligation. All right, well, I guess we're going to have to follow up and see exactly what happened at the end of that and make a follow-up video on this one because we don't know if she ended up getting dragged out of that car or if they decided to let her go. My inclination is they did not decide to let her go. Why would they at this point? They got the boss coming, so we'll see. My take on it is, like I've said before in other videos, if cops are giving you a rough time, they're not going to let you go without complying with what they say. Just give them your ID. Identify yourself, especially if you're not committing a crime with what this lady's saying. Move on about your day and go without. Now she might have to go to jail, hire a lawyer, deal with all that crap that no one wants to deal with. But all possible, stay out of the judicial system. It's not fun. But hey, thanks for stopping by for this another reaction with me, Attorney Ted. Check out my YouTube channel as well. Until next time, see you later. Big Verdict.